Okay, here we are at my 55 gallon root cellar. Again, several inches of pea gravel at the bottom for ballast. I already had a couple of things in here. I'll pull those out because I'm put them, gonna put them back in with these other items I brought. Those, uh, by the way, were uh, brine, um, brine preserved fermented zucchini. I'm gonna put some dry zucchini in there, some fresh ginger root, my seed potatoes. All right, and then I'm going to put my mushrooms, dried mushrooms. Again, these don't have to go in a root cellar, but I'm just going to put them in there. Anyway, see how they do. I'm going to put my fermented vegetables in the bottom. There's my sauerkraut. Here are my fermented cucumbers. Here's another jar of my fermented cucumbers. Here's some fermented green uh, tomatoes with a couple of uh, almost green tomatoes. Uh, what happens, we had a freeze here and um, the, the tomatoes, the green tomatoes were not going to ripe. So before we, we had a freeze to damage them uh, too much, what I did was I went ahead and picked the green tomatoes and I pickled them in brine solution. So this is a pickled green cherry tomatoes. And we have our garlic. Uh, pickled garlic, brine solution. There's uh, my wolf. He's always out here helping me. Right here, and that's just to provide a additional dead air space in here. And this itself is a, is a foot below the surface of the earth. Um, I don't think this is necessary. Uh, I think these out here will be just fine. But again, this is the first year that I've done this. So this is an experiment. See how things do. It's in case these do freeze and the jars burst, maybe this one won't. I'm going to start collecting those bubble, the bubble wrap that you get whenever you uh, get a shipment in, uh, in the mail. I'm going to start collecting all that bubble wrap. And next year when we do this, I'm going to put all of my jars and products in my weary cellar. And then I'm going to make a, a layer of a few inches of that bubble wrap on top just to provide a dis additional insulation from uh, the freezing air out here. Temperature down there will be fine. It should be a constant 60 degrees. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, put my seed potatoes in here. And the, that will be what I will uh, use as uh, potatoes I saved from my garden. That will be what I'll use to start my potatoes next year. My ginger, fresh ginger root. These are in paper bags so that they can breathe. Some dried products I dehydrated. Wild mushrooms. These don't have to go in here. Of course, these be stored in your kitchen, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them away. Save them for a rainy day. They'll keep uh, even better in a cooler temperature, a, a constant cool temperature. But otherwise, these dried, dried foods um, can be stored in your countertop. Put the lid back on, and I'll put the band back on when I get my hands free from operating this ca camera. And there we go. You've had a peek. That's the rival dock, makeshift root cellar. Now we just moved out to this location. This is the first year I had this particular garden. It's a lot of learning experience out here. I didn't have a whole lot of extra uh, food to preserve. I've got additional food that is inside preserved uh, from uh, dehydration. Uh, but anyway, uh, in the future next year, I plan on having a much bigger harvest and uh, I'll be needing a lot more root cellar. And this is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced. Rio, where are you going? Come here, Rio. Come here, Rio. Good dog, good dog. This is my wolf, Rio. Go check out that barking, Rio.